Okay, so I put up a video the other day basically saying that I don't like cameras with small sensors, especially if you're shooting 4K video. The 1 slash 2.3 sensor, anyway, take my word for it, it's a little tiny sensor that is in the Sony FDR AX33 right here. Sony FDR AX33, tiny little sensor right there. And then, of course, the GoPro, which has a tiny little sensor over there. And, of course, that's going to be a very wide shot. I don't know if I have it pointed right because it doesn't have a screen on it. I'd never use my GoPro, okay? Again, I don't think the image quality is there. I don't think that tiny little sensors do a good job with 4K video. And you be the judge. This camera right over here, this is the RX100 Mark IV. RX100 Mark IV, right there, little tiny little camera. And guess what? It's got a one inch sensor in it. One inch sensor. And I'm not using my FZ1000 in this shot, but I could be. It has a one inch sensor as well. And its video quality, I think, compares very close to the Sony. I think the Sony might be a little bit better, but you be the judge. I have videos on my channel comparing the two head to head. But I'm going to suggest that these tiny sensors are not the way to go, that you're not going to get the quality out of them. And again, this camera right here in the middle, that's the Sony FDR-AX33. Sony FDR-AX33, $1,000 camera. It's the same price, the same price as this Sony RX100 Mark IV, Sony RX100 Mark IV, which is a tiny little thing and has the one-inch sensor in it. Now, it has a five-minute limit on 4K, which for me is good because I very rarely run a 4K clip longer than five minutes. You all wouldn't watch it anyway. And if I do, it's a compilation of clips put together. It's not just one clip. It's a whole bunch of clips. So I did an event and I ended up with a 12-minute long video from the event, and it was no problem. I shot all, well, most of the clips with this camera. So five-minute limit for me is not a problem. They have an RX-10, which is the bigger unit, same sensor and all that, that doesn't have. It's got a 29 minutes limit, whatever, just under 30 minutes. So that's not really an issue. But the camcorder format here on the FTR AX33, that is a big plus with the Boss balanced optical steady shot. That really works good. But the problem is, if the image quality isn't that good, then what good is it? I'm probably going to sell the thing. And the GoPro, like I said, the GoPro, it pretty much stays in my kit that I made for it with all the accessories and all that. It's probably going on eBay too. Because the tiny sensors, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, are not as sharp. They don't look as good, and I've got good light coming in here. i got great light coming in here. I mean, it's not super bright light, but it's two big windows. It's natural window light, which is the best kind of lighting you can get, and direct window lighting. In my opinion, that's great lighting. And so I'm giving the cameras, you know, the best here. I mean, that you can expect. Everybody's not going to have a studio with pro studio lighting, right? And, the, and that's the thing. You see these videos showing these cameras and the manufacturers make these videos that are just awesome oh my god that looks so great they do everything in ideal circumstances they do a lot of post-processing and that's not real world so i'm dealing with real world use on my channel when i talk about a camera or whatever i'm talking about real world use so here's another test you be the judge i got three cameras here i got the sony rx 100 mark IV right there I got the FDR AX33 right there, and then I've got a GoPro doing the wide, wide work here. So there we go. Let me know what you think. Hey, please subscribe to my channel.